So guys, so I got some very interesting news to share with you guys today. In the city of Phoenix, uh, Arizona, the Satanic Temple has been blocked from being allowed to lead a town or a city council meeting uh, a prayer. And this is a violation of the Constitution. And also the Supreme Court ruled in a case uh, about two years ago called uh, Greece versus uh, uh, Galloway where it basically says that you are allowed um, to lead a prayer and that you're not allowed to have basically a bias towards one religion. And in this city of Phoenix, they called in an emergency session saying that the mayor and the eight council members now have to approve who's going to lead a prayer during a, uh, a city council meeting. And this is a clear violation of the Constitution. It just shows the level of bias. You know, why, why do you have to, why, if, if you don't want to have certain groups praying during a uh, city council meeting, then you shouldn't allow any group to pray during a city council meeting. This is our government. I don't think religion should be involved in it whatsoever. And when it comes to the Satanists, now I am an atheist, but I, I also have to admit that, you know, Satanists are basically just atheists who use the term Satanists to... Um, basically fight for uh, secularism within the United States government. And the uh, spokesperson for the uh, Satanic Temple, um, he actually released a statement, which I'll put in the description below, and I'm not going to uh, read off what he said, but if you guys want to read what he uh, said, it'll be in the description below. And I, I personally think that this is a clear like assault on secularism. I mean, if you want to live in a country where you know the religion dictates how people should live then maybe you should go live in uh you know saudi arabia iran or uh or whatever country where it's a theocracy the united states is a secular democracy where you, we have freedom of religion and freedom from religion meaning that you know you can believe whatever you want to believe but then don't push that on us and don't, and don't force our government to uh, uh give give a preferential treatment towards one uh, religion because at the end of the day, let's say that your religion is not the religion in power, and you know they say, "Oh, well, we don't we don't like this certain religion, so we're going to enact policy that would um, persecute those people." And I am completely against that. But it seems like a lot of Christians, um, it seems like, want to live in a theocratic um, country, and that's not that's not how the United States is going to. Um, um, continue, or that's not that's not how the United States is going to be whatsoever. Uh, you know, as as long as I'm here and I'm able to speak out against it, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm actively making sure or like speaking out against stuff like this because this should scare you. This should this should even if you're a Christian, you should say that this is not right because, like I said, at the end of the day. If the shoe was under the foot and the Christians were the minority in this country, you wouldn't want Muslims or Jews or even atheists telling you how to, you know, practice your religion. And that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have some news, link articles in the description also. And uh, enjoy your day.